So on July 15th, 2022, the Wall Street Journal published an article about Vince McMahon. In this article, they alleged that he paid off a former employee of WWE with a multi-million dollar settlement. The number being reported is $3 million. Now, why did he pay this former employee $3 million? Well, the answer is because he had an alleged affair with this former employee and he paid her to keep it quiet. He paid her to avoid telling them the media details about the affair. That's pretty fair. I assume that Vince McMahon would not want his wife Linda to know about his extramarital affairs and his extracurricular activities. So it makes sense for WWE to do this or Vince McMahon to do this. You know, it would be pretty funny. I mean, Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, Jeff Hardy, all these great talents that got released due to quote budget cuts. How funny would it be if these budget cuts were actually like in place to fund this hush money scandal? Now in this article in the Wall Street Journal, they also allege that Vince McMahon and Johnny Laurinaitis, they have alleged cases of harassment against them from separate individuals. But this article focuses on the one individual at hand who was nameless in the Wall Street Journal article. I'm going to link the article into the description of this video so you guys can check it out. But I'm going to give you all the details you need to know. Then I'm going to offer my thoughts on it and maybe a little conspiracy as to what the hell is actually going on in the WWE right now. So according to the article, the employee was hired in 2020 and she was paid a salary of $100,000, which was then increased to $200,000 after she began a sexual relationship with the chairman of the board, the evil Mr. McMahon, pal. And then apparently Vince, quote unquote, gave her like a toy to Johnny Ace, John Laurinaitis, who was also married to the Bella Twins mother. So she worked as an assistant to Mr. Laurinaitis in 2021. And then apparently she was, quote, scared. So she quit WWE a short time later after being Laurinaitis' assistant. Vince McMahon's trusted lawyer of many years, Jerry McDevitt, denies that WWE paid a settlement. They insist that their relationship was consensual. But the directors of the board allegedly received a copy of this settlement, I guess via email, on June 12th. And then four days later, this article comes out. This article felt like a hit piece. It felt like it had been in the works for some time. Now here is where the conspiracy theorist in me, this is where I put my tinfoil hat on, this is where my ears perked up. Now I am not suggesting this by any means, based on what I'm about to say, but this is only a theory that I'm going to pose to you. And you tell me what you think about what I am about to tell you. OK, I think that sounds pretty fair. So in the article, there was wording, there was note that the alleged employee, she fell on hard times financially when she started working for WWE. OK, focus in on that, quote unquote, hard times financially. Interesting. I mean, that poses to me. I'm just the conspiracy theory. I'm throwing this out there. Could this woman be trying to elicit money? from Mr. McMahon. Could there have been wrongdoings on the part of WWE's part? I don't know. But could she have engaged in a relationship with Vince McMahon and then tried to blackmail him to get money from this billionaire owner? I mean, why would Vince need to pay this much money to have a relationship with someone when he could literally go out in public and be like, oh, I'm Vince McMahon, damn it. And just like meet girls and end up having relationships. Like he's Mr. McMahon, he doesn't really need to do this. Now, there could be other aspects to this. This woman could have made herself unattainable. And, you know, to someone like Vince, who's used to having the world and always used to hearing the word yes, it could have been a chase and there could have been, you know, bad activities going on. I don't know. But I'm posing this theory that this woman could have tried to elicit money from WWE. That's what it could sound like when you see wording like the woman fell upon hard times financially. And there's really no detail, there's no context to that in the article, so I don't want to give it too much weight. But I just want to pose that question, like, what do you think happened in this scenario? What do you think about this? Me, personally, I find it crazy that WWE had the nerve to call Sasha Banks and Naomi unprofessional when there's, like, alleged harassment lawsuits against Johnny Laurinaitis and Vince McMahon just laying around in the office somewhere. I think that's blasphemous. And on top of that, let's talk about Sasha Banks for a minute. If she's been released, that's really, it's sad to see. 
if she has been because i mean she's one of the best female talents in wrestling history i don't care if she had 11 championships 15 championships i don't care if she breaks anyone's record you know like she doesn't need to be a champion like charlotte flair she doesn't need to have long boring title reigns like becky lynch to be considered an all-time great she's had great matches she's made great memories she's had big moments and that's what wwe is about in my mind so i hope sasha banks comes back to the wwe better than ever or she finds a way in hollywood or AEW, and she has nothing but success so that's pretty much it for this video and yeah i just want to thank you guys for tuning into this video all of you that have stuck by me and interacted